Hi, my name is Josh Matthews. I'm the Field Engineering Manager here at Open Kernel Labs. As we all know, mobile devices continue to fulfill an increasing number of applications and functions. One of the big problems that our customers are telling us they face because of this is those functions often have varying levels of security requirements. A particular example of this is a recent solution that we deployed for a customer in which they had a very strict requirement for extreme guarantees of security on a communications component, but they needed to deploy it on an Android-based device. Now, of course, they could have done this on a dual-core device, right? Um, but that obviously leads to an increase in bomb costs and a decreased uh, system architecture flexibility. What we were able to deliver with OKL4 and uh, mobile virtualization uh, was the ability to achieve that same level of guarantees that hardware isolation provides, but on a single-core device. Let's have a look at the system. So here we have the OKL4 secure phone dialer. We have a number that I've already entered here, and we have the system currently in insecure mode. What we're simulating here is an attack by a Trojan within the Android operating system uh, that is able to gain access to all the audio data that is flowing through Android. So when we're in insecure mode, as we're about to see, this Trojan will be able to capture all of that audio data. Let's place an insecure call. This is Lauren. Hey Lauren, this is Josh. Hi Josh, is this our unsecured call? We better not discuss anything confidential. That's right, I'll call you back on a secure line. Okay. So this Trojan, as we can see, if we roll back the tape a little bit, was able to capture... Is this our unsecured call? We better not discuss anything confidential. All of the audio data uh, that just, just flowed through Android there. If we flick the system over into secure mode and place that same call again, Josh. Hey, Lauren. We're now on a secure line. So it's impossible for this to be recorded? That's right. Completely impossible. Thanks for your help. OK, so another call, but the system is now in secure mode. Let's have a look at what the Trojan was able to capture. Absolutely nothing. No sound data whatsoever. The reason this was possible is because that audio data, in, when it's in secure mode, was being controlled entirely by that isolated voice over IP component. Let's have a look at the architecture that implemented this. So what we have here is the OKL4 microvisor with a number of secure cells deployed on it. The two major secure cells are a virtual machine environment running the Android operating system and an isolated lightweight execution environment running a voice over IP application, in this case Linkphone, which has been ported to run directly on top of the OKL4 microvisor itself. So what you can see here immediately is this provides very strict isolation between Android and that voice over IP component. OKL4 is actually able to go one step further, however, and not just isolate the applications themselves, but the drivers that they rely on. So in this case, the audio device driver, for example, is still required to be used by Android to play things like media. However, when the system is in secure mode, we want to guarantee that Android is not able to gain access whatsoever to that audio device. So we fulfill this by having an audio device driver with a security, security policy implemented here, which means that when the system is in secure, in secure mode, the audio device server prevents access from, from, from the Android component. Now, you can see how this architecture could also be used for other security requirements. For example, if you had a mobile banking application or an e-commerce application, you could easily port that to run directly on the OKL4 microvisor as well. So just to summarize what we're able to achieve here for this client was a providing the same guarantees of security of, uh, that, that would be enabled via isolated hardware, but on a single core device. So they got all the benefits of exceptionally high security with a low bomb cost and an incredibly increased uh, flexibility in system architecture. So if you're interested in this or any of the other use cases uh, of using OKL4 and mobile virtualization, please check out our website.